drums of destiny. As a few good men march along, the rest of mankind watches in absolute awe. They are the men of honor, fearless and with pride in their hearts. These are the men India feels proud of. Welcome to the world of brave hearts. And our compliments to one such finest gentleman. Welcome to Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma. Squadron Leader Rakesh Sharma. Sari Rasht ka dhyan aapke taraf hai. Upar se Bharat kaisa dikhta hai aapko? Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Rabindranath Tagore. I'd read these lines very early when I was a kid. Didn't fully understand the import till much later. Mind, sir. I was looking for a career that was challenging. Adventurous, exciting, with a bit of ism, something with honor, where I would be able to add value to the organization I was working for. And during the process, realize my own potential. Now, which would be a career which would offer me all of this? I looked here and there, and suddenly I found it. Welcome to the world of men who deserve the best. And they deserve the best simply because they are the best. National Defense Academy. The world looks at it as one of the best places that creates men of honor. An institution that has laid the highest standards of qualifying, promising immense satisfaction to the cadets and prizes to be won. The National Defense Academy is a unique tri-service premier establishment which trains leaders of armed forces who have been at the helm both in India and abroad. It has spanned over 7,000 acres and this provides a salubrious environment to train the cadets of the armed forces in a multifarious spectrum of activities. The unique thing about the academy is that cadets from the army, the navy and the air force train jointly for three whole years with no differentiation whatsoever in terms of the training they do, except of course in the fifth and sixth terms when the focus rightly shifts to service training. This is the kind of model which uh, was conceived 60 years ago when buzzwords like jointness were not so well known and uh, the fact that our founding fathers of this academy could think of all this 60 years ago. It's really a great tribute to their vision and foresight. Today is the great day of convocation of one of the toughest professional courses the world has known. Tomorrow is a passing out parade and we have worked day in and day out for it. Each cadet has tried to hone his skill to the extent possible. And the standard of drill in the academy is truly high. And it inculcates in us a sense of pride in our uniform smartness in the gate, military bearing and of course obedience to the orders given. And I hope uh, that the exacting standards are displayed in the parade that we present in front of the parents, guests and the entire academy.
as the chief guest arrives to see the bright young men cross the Antim Pug, the last step which transforms them from a student to an officer. We'll have to go back a little in time to see how it all started three years ago. The first step. Pehla Pug. Well, nervous? <laughs> Don't be so chum. You'll soon discover friends around. And believe me, you will have loads of fun. And the guys on the other side of the table are not that monstrous either. They could perhaps sound a little critical at times. But remember, if you'll ever need help, support and protection, you should have no hesitation to run to them. So get into the world of real competition, valor, and adventure. Surprise, surprise! Don't you think if you deserve the very best, you need to sacrifice a little? Welcome home, buddy. Now I feel very empty. I think now I'm looking quite more smart, no hair, uh, so no oil required, no comb required, no mirror required. I'm looking like Riti Roshan of Laksha. Numbers on the proud chests, and thus you become a part of a squadron. But it's not simple to value the true meaning of being a part of a squadron. Meanwhile, far away from home, in the midst of so many unknowns, life back home calls out. The yellow painted room, the window by the mango tree, the dusty road leading to the courtyard, the village, Ma, Papa, all, everyone. Now they look so distant. Where is Eagle Skull? Eagle Skull, carry on to ground lobby for us immediately. Eagle Skull, carry on to ground lobby for us immediately. And all that remains vivid and overwhelming is your newfound home and your new relations as they call out. Eagle Skull, listen here. Eagles and Hunters and Alphas and Bravos, the Squadrons. Squadron, just a word perhaps, but for everyone else, touched by its spirit, Squadron signifies the heart that builds the very existence, the awareness that tutors the values of life. A treasure that makes a cadet richer than the richest. A jewel that glows in the soul and shines through the actions forever. Stop! Life's tough in here, but here's where one learns to live. Here's where you make friends, compete and learn the art of true sportsman spirit. And <laughs> this is something the cadets are allowed to take away home as a keepsake. Squadron is only a big joke for us. It is only the real motivation. This is what squadron life is all about. But try telling that to a person who is pulled out of his comfort zone from home and comes here. And on the very first day, he loses his identity. When he goes for his first haircut, and then stands in front of the mirror. Look at his expression. <laughs> Unforgettable. And then he goes through the day, catching his breath, trying to cope with the physical and mental demands placed on him. And towards the end of the day, he somehow drags himself into bed and crashes like a sack of potatoes. He asks himself, is this pleasurable? And then realizes the satisfaction of having gone through this day. 
he goes to bed ready for another day at the NDA. You want to understand this? Come with me. And that's the morning call. The frail little sips and the hot tea out of the plastic mugs refer to no luxury. It's just the beginning of another hard-pressed day. Such little firm directives also serve another purpose. It reminds the young cadets to keep their home in their hearts and experience the world in a way they have never done before. Everyone out here is a little prince out of his kingdom, ready to explore the world. I believe! I believe! That guy must be! That guy must be! Joy! Joy! Trustful! Trustful! Trustworthy! Trustworthy! Honest! Honest! And forthright! And forthright! Mark every word that each one of them repeats. Honesty. Sincerity. Promise. Are these words carrying any meaning to these kids? The necessity of the words and the regulations. They'll have little meaning perhaps now for the young men. But these words and the discipline will get embedded in their hearts. Something which will become a part of their very system. Inch by inch, these guys are made to toil, put to test, where they get to know who they are. They get to know their strengths, they will command, and the character we all desire so much. The instructions are harsh, but willingly they follow. Now let's take a break. It's time for breakfast. As the kitchen gears up for 1800 breakfasts, it smells fantastic. But that's usual and regular at NDA. And the list of five courses has little impact on the expert hands at the kitchen. They are oriented in serving 1800 cadets at the dining hall together three times every day. Paddle all the way to Salaria Square and you reach a spot that remains busy around with hundreds of cycles all round the day. And whoever has visited NDA is familiar with such a site. National Defense Academy, the seat for the Joint Services Academy of the Army, Navy and Air Force. An academy which serves as the training facility for the cadets of all the three defense services of India, where they are skilled to get holistically equipped with the necessary lessons before going for the next level in their respective areas of expertise. The classrooms of the academy are so impressive, yet some of the most important lessons are learnt outside of it. Some of the lessons so invariably significant for the overall advancement of an individual and essential for future army officers are found only at the National Defense Academy. Apart from that, they are also taught and trained in the fundamental military sciences. For the first two years out of the three, the cadets are trained together. The third year gives them an opportunity to study the service they have already selected. Army, Navy or Air Force. National Defense Academy boasts of the best from the teaching fraternity. It is a responsibility which the teachers here at NDA discharge with complete dedication 
upholding the highest professional and teaching ethics. Sitting in this classroom brings back a flood of memories. And I must say that not all of them are pleasant. The education system at the National Defense Academy has captured the very essence of the ancient philosophy of education in India by following the Gurukul system. And perhaps that is why it has been able to churn out such responsible individuals over the years. The professors here focus not only on producing great professionals, but also good human beings. This is not an easy task to handle and churn out 1,800 cadets year on year. They have a special gift. Not only do they know how to teach, but they also impart knowledge. Not only impart knowledge, but also the knowledge on how to use that knowledge for the realization of their military aims in their work sphere. After lunch, a cadet is allowed a time out with himself, but that is spent on his homework under the watchful eyes of the directing staff and senior cadets. The evening starts with physical exercise training. A healthy body and a healthy mind is a unique combination, rarely gotten but widely spoken of. Probably there is little understanding about how much goes into bringing out such a rare combination into a reality. Of course, at NDA, it is as normal as breathing. Just as education is a solid foundation for what a person becomes, so is knowing how to have a good time on the ground. Character is primarily defined with two things. Education and personality. Remember, all work and no play makes one a dull boy. When you go up, firstly you'll have a fear. But as you jump, as soon you reach the water, you'll feel one more jump. That's how I'll do one more jump. Every time it's like this. Firstly you're having a heart pain. India में स्टैंड मीटर जंप की बहुत अहमियत है। अगर तुम ये ना करो, तो तुम अपना टर्म नहीं क्लियर कर सकते। और ऊपर जाते हैं, कोस्टमेंट होते हैं, कोस्टमेंट बोलते हैं कि तुम तू जंप कर ले जो शाम कुछ नहीं होता, हम हैं पीछे। ये एक मॉडल सपोर्ट मिल जाता है। और नीचे बैठे जूनियर्स भी देख � एक इमेज फॉर्म रहती है यहाँ ये डरता नहीं है ये कुछ भी कर सकता है और तुम्हारा टर्म भी क्लियर होता है एक तरीके से पीछे मुड़ यू आर लाउजिंग यार सिंपली बाय मुड़ते रहे झटके से पीछे मुड़ झटके In the three years of NDA, amazingly, I've got a total transformation in my body. And I feel like every muscle of my body is made up of steel. And we guys can conquer anything and everything. And this is not just that, with physical strength, our mental strength is also very big. And the only truth or the secret behind the workouts at NDA, you can say, is that we guys are pushed notch by notch to discover the deeper reasons of why we are doing what we are doing. And we guys are pushed notch by notch to discover the deeper reservoirs of our strength within us. National Defense Academy, a stage to liberate fear, a podium to hold closely to the heart, the unstoppable spirit of being fearless. And of course, equestrian. The Indian Army has produced many a legendary horseman who has made India proud. The wonderful beast has always been regarded as a military man's best friend. And there's a horse's prayer which every man in uniform believes and respects. 
Going up the hill, whip me not. Going down the hill, hurry me not. When angry, strike me not. When sick and dying, leave me not. And when dead, forget me not. Not birds, but blaring horns. Not disciplined military men, but curious city folk. Not the National Defense Academy, but any nice civil spot. Of course, the men in uniform do get to relax after all. Weekends are fun and group excursions ending in diving right into the middle of city life is something that's rather not uncommon. <laughs> it also looks like a quest for an oasis, a modern depiction of Lawrence of Arabia. As the young, elegant men walk through the city and city malls, curious faces look back. A rare sense of respect for the academy and its products, while the cadets, quite oblivious of such attention, carry on. The pride of being from NDA cannot be missed. The cadets then start their final year in this wonderful institution, the National Defense Academy. By now, each of them has chosen the service they would be wanting to join. And this is based on their interest and aptitude. On the other side, training teams are waiting to receive these cadets and impart to them training specific to the chosen service, be it the Army, Navy or the Air Force. In their sixth term, cadets are exposed to specialized service training and skills which they are required to learn in order to become commissioned officers in their respective service. Thus, as the young affiliates eager to fly, queue up for gaining the much needed familiarity with their airplanes, the rest divide and gear up for training for their areas of expertise, on the surface of the water or on the land. The specialized service training for Air Force cadets is imparted by an expert team. All Air Force cadets undergo practical training of gliding. AFTT is fully equipped to provide about 8 hours of flying experience to each Air Force cadet before he joins the Air Force Academy. Training under the Air Force training team is an awesome experience. The cadets are taught the basics of aerodynamics, gliding, meteorology, airframes and armaments and of course the much coveted instructions in developing motor skills. Today we did acrobatics for the first time and it was just an amazing feeling. I was feeling that flying is really very very big fun. I felt that uh, opting for fighters is still better. Seeing such, uh, I don't think so, such adventure anyone would get anyway. Army training team takes care of the army cadets. The specialized service training for army cadets is imparted by this team. The cadets are taught section level tactics and basics of war like patrolling, ambush and map reading. The specialized service training for naval cadets is imparted by naval training team. All naval cadets undergo practical training of sailing at Peacock Bay, which is fully equipped to train naval cadets on all the aspects of boat handling, windsurfing, rowing and other related areas. The silence of the night is almost deafening. As the imposing structure of National Defense Academy puts its feet up, the cadets gear up. It's time for Camp Thorna. The team building exercise will probably nowhere be as effectively and meticulously planned as it is in this case. 
the motivation with which one must proceed should put one and all the members of the squad in tune. And thus, for one last time together, shoulder to shoulder, the cadets go on for one final test of strength before they separate out to their chosen field of training. In this great hour, this is the great moment of brotherhood, of true friendship that will keep the cadets motivated throughout their lives. Every weapon is checked, loaded and checked. The fearless youngsters in the wee hours get ready to march on. Clad in war outfits with a full kitty intact on their backs, the brave hearts indeed look commissioned already. The excitement of the youthful cheer is vivid on their faces. One final call and they are there, all ready and willing. The cadets take a few final tips and off they go to the campsite. The officers accompanying the young Turks brief them keeping one and all alert of enemy attacks. It could be a mock war, but the cadets are not on a pleasure trip. And it's certainly not fun. And they need to take every move critically. Each of the cadets takes turns to take a glimpse of the topography sketched out on a map and plan out their strategic decisions. As the only time they would counter such a situation ever in their lives again would be when they will be in real battle. In the process, natural leaders emerge. Meanwhile, the plebs at Air Force training base are geared up for Exercise Garuda. Air boys get first-hand knowledge about air station procedures and the functioning of one of the world's most sophisticated fighter planes. To fly the incredibly splendid Sukhoi becomes every cadet's dream. मैंने सोचा था सुखोई बहुत छोटा है पर जब मैंने देखा वो मेरे इमेजिनेशन से काफी काफी विशाल था तो मीन्स आई मैं सोचता हूँ कि जो सुखोई एयरक्राफ्ट है ये दुनिया की बेस्ट एयरक्राफ्ट है एंड मैं इसे उड़ाना चाहता हूँ एक दिन In the meantime, naval cadets are learning the lessons very well. Exercise Varuna, as it is called, is a foolproof conditioning camp that brings the cadets closer to reality. The captain, an NDA graduate, probably knows best what could be in the minds of his young friends. All the questions possibly he'd have otherwise shared with his master if he were a cadet were thus understood, though unspoken and answered voluntarily. But his intuition was right, each time, all the way. Thus, on board INS Vindhyagiri off the Mumbai coast, the cadets exert firm effort at the bridge assignment and go through the process of becoming skilled at the decisive drills of frontline ships. Thus, in INS Vindhyagiri, Cadets get a real feel of the various operations and processes that go into mastering a ship at high seas. They become familiar with the duties they are supposed to shoulder in the years to come. As the boat flies down over the deep blue sea, the cadets get ready for light jackstay operation. Make no mistake, it's not as simple as it might look. Getting transported over the rough sea, hanging loosely from the cables could possibly be a little scary and not all fun. 
No doubt, it's adventure that a sailor so much should love, or else he becomes no sailor. A sailor's life is nevertheless intricate, which requires perhaps a little bit of extra effort to keep the patience and smile intact. That is a necessity. By the time it reaches its close, the cadets are already experienced in close-range anti-aircraft gun, multiple silos for launching anti-submarine torpedoes, and so many other things. What else? Nothing more. Just load the magazines and fire a belt of bullets from the machine gun. The touch of a weapon. The thrill. The faces reflect it all. At the academy, we keep pushing our cadets to achieve higher and higher heights. The sky is the limit as far as their limits go. Moment we increase the bar, the cadet achieves that bar. So we make him realize that there is a potential in him and he can achieve whatever he wants to in life. A complete hush in the air. In the quiet of the night, a patrol party is on the move. As they grab each rung forward, it appears as if even the leaves have been asked to hold their breath, lest someone should know. And while like a ghost they shift, their every move, every breath is being watched. And then, in no time, the patrol party vanishes in the thin air. Well, but this ambush was only a part of a drill exercise. And now it's time for Fateh. Before a squad of cadets dressed in full war uniforms get ready to dig up their first taste of real battle situation, their commander makes clear to the boys the complexities of weapon deployment. Minus marks for camouflage and concealment. It seems he has more than a pair of eyes though. Cadets avidly compete against each other to reach and be in charge of their positions. While the section commander and army cadet makes a detailed report to the inspection officer, the rest of them gear up for further orders. It's that time when a cadet stands all alone in the middle of it all. It's his belief, his self-reliance and ability to stay put that will do the trick. The stage is set. The surround sound effect of advancing of war vehicles shift all present to a world not quite familiar. It's a world not too many would ever get to see or else the ones who will see will not ever think they would want to observe it again. It's a glimpse of a world though not desired. All men in uniform probably know the meaning of peace more than we do, sitting happy in our little cozy corners. But they know very well that if you want peace, be prepared for war. Thus, far from the maddening crowd on the other side of the hills, what happens is difficult to describe. It is to be witnessed. Armored tank formation moves in. Machine guns roar. Fierce battle explodes. 
but every soul of the Indian Armed Forces needs to be strong and brave to defend their peace at home and thus learn every nuance of war. Thus, cadets from all the three services observe in absolute awe from close quarters a demonstrative attack by an infantry company on an NDA platoon, defending a heli terrain and silently watch to learn a semi-controlled battle exercise codenamed Fateh. As regular soldiers of the army advance, NDA cadets descend from their positions to partake an opportunity to demonstrate their strategic skills. It's the last time the young lads will be taught and the first time they will learn more than what is taught. Last time they will spin a web of imaginations. The first time they will face the reality. And God willing, this is the last time they will see a war. Platoon Commander or Company Commander Saab. Okay, gentlemen, whatever you have seen just now, and you have undergone the training under, during this camp, is the culmination of your army training at NDA. All the best, and happy hunting after your commissioning. Thank you. Fateh established its time for the cadets to confirm they still have it in them. The Josh to carry on. A more than 30 kilometers run back to the NDA barracks with gear weighing 20 kilograms each on their backs. Your last bit of formalized training in NDA. You have your run back, Josh run, Tir command, call it whatever. It's going to be you, your stamina, your endurance, your team spirit, and everything out here. Sounds incredible, isn't it? True. The Indian Armed Forces need men who are incredible and no less. And this is just another way to know that the men on whom NDA spent so much of hard work indeed deserved so. Thus, the men face yet another overwhelming test. The Josh Run or Tir Kamal. Don't just keep running like madmen. You lose your way. There's no use after that. You'll get disgusted. The run is to begin in the dead of the night, through the jungles and over the rivers. The frigid air replicates the glacial test and the cold heart surround. It seems way too long. But that's the fun of it. To hold on, space out energy and reach strong and sprightly. It's not a test for fragile hearts, feeble health. It's for those who know the rhythm of life. Deep down inside us, we hear the chilly voice of the night. Divided in small groups, running through the cold of the night, the boys finally make it. The boys pull off what looked to them quite impossible even the previous night. And they did it. As the cadets reached the squadron, I heard one of them say to his mates, another fine job done by us. It's always good to see people who take pride in job well done. So this is the spirit which with the cadets leave the National Defense Academy. This is the point at which they become integral with the motto which is service before self. And this is the spirit which guides them every step of their way through their career. A job well done indeed. If only we could have given them a warm hug. If only we could have told them, we are so proud of you. Weary though, fatigue fails to impair their enthusiasm. 
Next in line, the obstacle test. The endurance test might not have looked that terrifying, taxing the nerves, had it not been preceded by Torna, Fateh and Josh. But that's the order, and the exceptionally tough endurance test turns out to be even tougher. True, endurance test is not finally of something to do with sheer animal vigor. This is much more. A unique trial to figure out a cadet's trust in himself, self-discipline, moral fiber and fortitude to conquer the insufferable. A test that puts the cadet stand right in front of himself, see his mirror image and judge by himself whether this is me, this is what I'm looking for. Is this a commitment I'll be able to keep for life? Rest assured, you'll get the answer you're looking for. is good you hit a good shot but the problem is that it's not in the bull next time take the point of him here jobs Otherwise, well done it's time for a cadet to send a charming goodbye letter to his beloved friend my dear bicycle thank you for being there whenever I needed you you gave me a ride when I desired so much help me get clear air relax and enjoy a wonderful time. You were my only comfort. I'll remember you always. Goodbye. The measured musical march of bagpipers. Academy dinner night can never be complete without the military band whose tunes make everyone sway from side to side with the notes. As the officers and cadets celebrate the prize distribution of inter-squadron competitions along with the grand dinner, the occasion almost looks like an invocation of a great beginning of something unusual after the party. This is an occasion for merriment and thus the ball is set rolling. Surprisingly, the places which are so commonly frequented so very often the faces, those are so familiar. The sundown overlooked so simply. Tonight appears so special, so vivid. Doubtless, none here will ever forget the way all these seem now, on this evening. The NDA ball, which has befallen the landmark happening of Pune with crowning of the NDA Queen and Mr. NDA. And of course, much more, probably holds a lot more meaning to all the people you see here gathered. It's about sharing laughter, dancing and jumping in joy, maybe for one last time, all of them together.
and thus the celebrations will remain incomplete if the academy and the entire nation do not stand up to salute and express gratefulness to those parents who encouraged their children to see a wonderful dream and really made it possible to realize it. Thus today at this very moment, standing at the threshold of a great new beginning, it remains the utmost duty of each and every cadet to convey his heartfelt gratitude to his parents for encouraging him, holding him up, and letting him go for what he thought he so much deserved. Dear Dad, Dear Ma, Thank you so much for everything. You were always there when I wanted you to help me, guide me through, laugh and cry with me. You were there to love me and care, and yet remained distant when it was so desired. Near or far, the love you share still reached me. Rain, wind, lungful of air carried your love to me. Cause even when you were not there, I felt you were right there with me. With your arms stretched out for me, whispering in the air, Son, come home. Thus the convocation ceremony will remain incomplete without the presence of the parents. It's a time of immense delight for the cadets, parents and family members rejoicing every second. I require you to promise to always endeavor to increase your knowledge by study and always to conduct yourselves at behalf a graduate of the Jawaharlal Nehru University. I promise! I promise! I promise! Successful cadets become the recipient of bachelor's degrees in computer science, social science or science. Furthermore, cadets with exceptional academic results get medals they will treasure for years. The bugle call marks the beginning of the pass-out parade and conclusion of a challenge accepted and won. It's an occasion where NDA wishes good luck to a group of fine young gentlemen officers. It marks the foundation of a new era, a welcome ceremony to the closing of yet another extraordinary chapter of the quest for destiny. A few good men with eyes full of dreams and the extensive expedition that furnished them the grit to be what they are today is an unbelievable story of transformation. What we witnessed during the last few minutes, from the first step into the NDA campus to the Antim Pug, is but the depiction of an incredible journey of a group of fine young boys who learned to master their own fate. Thus they cross the Antim Pug, proudly with head held high. Good luck and goodbye. All's done. The cadets, ready to sign off, are left with one final obligation to fulfill. The convocation cannot be complete without a quiet call. A call to pay homage to the heroes. A homage to battles fought and won. A homage to legends. The legends of NDA. Lion-hearted men who became kings princes and angels by their deeds and immortal in death. The way they lived and the way they sacrificed their glorious lives for the nation, the true spirit of NDA Service before self undeniably finds its utmost meaning here. Is it possible to forget them?
the ceremonies are over. The overwhelming sense of accomplishment is nothing but the manifestation of feeling associated with a fraternity. For the first time in a long time, their childlike exuberance overflows, finding themselves really grown-ups. An amazing sight to delight in. A wonderful occasion to let these boys scream, jump and scream, yell, cry, hop, skip, feel good, whatever. This is fitting to say, boys, it's your day. Goodbye, friends. Keep smiling. Only because we know that you will be our protectors, we will sleep without fear. I know that today, people want to go to money. And if you see, money is in their place and happiness is in their place. अपने बुजुर्गों से आप पूछें कि आप पैसे से खुशी मिल सकती है और आपको जवाब मिलेगा नहीं इसलिए मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं कि जहां तक हो सके जिस काम में आपको दिलचस्पी मिलती है वही काम करें और सर्विसेज के जैसा काम आपको कहीं नहीं मिलेगा आजकल जो करियर ऑप्शंस हैं ये आपको मिलेंगी फौज में मिलेंगी और पहले की तरह फौज फौज आज बदल चुकी है पहले की तरह कुछ पैसों के लिए नहीं आपको इंतजार करना पड़ता पे कमीशन के बाद आज काफी आसान हो गया है तो अगर आप काम करते करते अगर देश की सेवा साथ में होती रहे तो इससे और अच्छा क्या हो सकता है द नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी प्रिपेयर्स द लीडर्स ऑफ टुमारो फॉर अ करियर इन द आर्म फोर्सेस एंड दिस करियर कुड बी इन एनी डायमेंशन it could be in the air on the land on the surface of water or indeed under the sea this a cadet could do by choosing a career in the army the navy or indeed the air force a career in the armed forces provides a challenge to face the future as well as a spirit of adventure along with a quality of life i would only like to tell the youth of our country that if you have a spirit of adventure and would like a career with a challenge and which provides a quality of life then a future career in the armed forces is the career for you apni manzil ki or badhte jayenge hum badhte bharat ke rakh wale ho jaye hum se dil mila ke chal aate muskurate chal फिर भी भारत को सावधान कर दिखा के चल 